So this question is a short question. So immediately to me, it looks like it's going to be simplify. But let's read the question and see if that is in fact the case. So the question says, what is the slope of the line through negative 2, 1 and 2, negative 5 in the standard xy coordinate plane? So actually, there's nothing here to simplify. So this is not going to be a simplify strategy. I could use a plug in picture strategy here because it does provide this question does mention something that can be drawn. So let's try that. So I'm going to draw my xy plane. I'm going to graph these two points. So negative 2 and 1. So that'd be there. And then 2, negative 5. So 1, 2, and negative 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, I do my best to make sure my lines are as equidistant as possible. So here's my, here's my line. The question asks about the slope. Well, how do I find slope? Slope is rise over run, right? So how do I get from this point here to this point there? Well, I'm going to rise how many units? So I'm starting down at negative 5. And I'm going up to positive 1. So that means I'm going to rise 6 units. And then I'm going to run right to the left. I'm going to run. Uh, I'm starting at a positive 2. And I'm ending at a negative 2. So I'm going to run 4 units. But because I'm going to the left, that makes it negative 4. So my rise is 6. My run is negative 4. When I reduce that fraction... I get uh, 3 over negative 2, which is the same as negative 3 over 2. And therefore, my correct answer here is choice D. Now, another way to do that, so this is a visual way using plug-in picture. Nothing wrong with that. I like that way a lot. Now, obviously, there is a slope formula um, or equation that says the slope, or M, can be found by finding the difference between the Y values divided by the difference between the x values. So I could just use that as well. So let's try that one so you can see it as well. So my y values here are 1 and negative 5. So I have 1 minus negative 5 in my numerator. And then my x values are negative 2 and positive 2. So I'd have negative 2 minus 2 in the denominator. So 1 minus negative 5 is the same as 1 plus 5, right? Because negative times negative is positive. And 1 plus 5 is 6. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. And once again, we get down to our negative 3 halves, further confirming that choice D is the correct answer.